This is Pokemon Fire Red, but if I see Caterpie, the video ends. My only goal is to defeat Brock. So upon loading up my game, I meet Professor Oak, and he asks me to type in my name, which I do. And then he asks me what his grandson's name is, which is kind of weird. I guess he has memory loss. So I name him Blue, and then I wake up in my room, and I see an NES, but I go down the stairs, and I ignore my mom and head outside. On going outside, I go up towards the first route of grass, and Professor Oak tells me to not go out. So I follow him back to his lab. And as I'm following him, I realize I probably should have said at least good morning to my mom. But, you know, it's okay. She won't care. On entering his lab, I move up and see that there are three Pokeballs and his grandson is here with him. And he's telling me that there are three Pokemon. And he's telling me his life story. And I get to choose a Pokemon, which is cool. And Blue is told to wait. And of course I pick Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is the best. And I decide to give him the most fitting nickname possible. Soar. That, that's it. But uh, anyways, Blue chooses his Pokemon, and of course he chooses Charmander because it's super effective against me. And right after this, he challenges me to a battle. The battle starts, and I suppose it's going to go well. He sends out his Charmander, I send out my Bulbasaur. And with one hit left, I use Tackle and finish off his Charmander to win the battle. I gain a nice amount of experience points and grow to level 6. And then Blue whines on how his Pokemon wasn't good. And after leaving the lab, I head up to the next route where a girl tells me what a trainer tip sign said. And I say, I don't care, and I left. As I was continuing on my route, I run into a patch of grass and encounter a wild Pidgey. Now after a while, I defeat the Pidgey with a good old tackle to the face. I gain a decent amount of XP, and as I take one more step forward... I get into another encounter, and this time it's a Rattata. And of course I defeat the Rattata, but not after it does a bit of damage to me and gets me down to 8 health. So I tackle him into Oblivion and win the fight. I grow to level 7, and I learn Leech Seed, which is cool because Leech Seed's a good move. So I continue walking. And eventually, I find another Pokemon, and it's a Rattata. Is this going to be the rematch we were all waiting for? The Rattata's ready to have his revenge. But I decide I don't want to deal with it, and I decide to run away. And I immediately get into another battle, this of which was with a Rattata. And I send out my Bulbasaur and run away again because I really don't want to deal with any more wild encounters. And finally I see the end of the route and head into Viridian City. Upon entering I immediately go into the Pokemon Center and heal up my Bulbasaur. And then I leave. And I head over to the Pokemart. And once I get inside the Pokemart, the attendant tells me that I came from Pallet Town and asked me if I knew Professor Oak. So I get Oak's parcel and have to do his work for him and deliver the parcel to Oak. Uh, on the way back down to Pallet Town, it wasn't that hard because there were just ledges to jump over. And I avoided getting any encounters in that grass. And I headed back into Professor Oak's building.
he's telling me about how my Pokemon's getting attached to me, and I tell him that I have a parcel for him. And he says it's a custom Pokeball, which I really don't know what that means. But then his grandson comes in, and Professor Oak remembers that he was going to give us Pokedexes. He states that it used to be his dream and stuff to catch all the Pokemon. And he wants us to get all the complete data, and he gives us some Pokeballs which won't really matter for this challenge and he just teaches us how to get the Pokemon and he says he's too old to get the job done and he wants us to get moving and Blue's trying to make me do nothing which I probably won't because I'll probably encounter Caterpie before I can finish the Pokédex, I'd assume, because I can't finish the Pokédex without a Caterpie. Uh, I enter Blue's house and receive the town map from his sister. And then I leave their house. And then I head back up to Viridian City. And go into the Pokémart to see if there's anything for me to buy to help me on this journey. I look and he doesn't have anything very helpful for me, so I just decide to leave. And that's and then a bit later I encounter this strange man who is standing in the middle of the road. And He's telling me that I'm working on my Pokédex, which I don't know how he knows about that because Professor Oak just invented it. Then he wants to show me how to catch Pokémon. And he reaches into his bag, uses a Pokéball, throws it. I'm pretty sure we all know how to do this at this point. There's no need for him to teach us this. But he catches the Weedle, which I realize I'm glad wasn't a Caterpie because that would have been bad way to end the run and I move on he gives me the teachy TV and I put it in my pocket and I continue on my way on to route 2 and there's literally nothing on route 2 except for a little patch of grass that I just walked through and I see a building and realize what's about to happen I talk to someone and they confirm my unfortunate decision that I am about to encounter Viridian Forest. And I talk to the same person twice on accident, making it kind of awkward. But then I decide, YOLO, and head into the forest. Upon entering, I just pray that I do not encounter any Caterpie and head on my journey. Now. It would really be unfortunate if this challenge just ended like this before I could fight Brock. And here's an encounter, and of course it was a Caterpie. And that's where the video ended. Uh, thank you all for watching, and make sure to subscribe. Bye.